Hello everybody, welcome back to another Hofbergman Explained video. Today we're going to talk about the oil mill that was added in the Hofbergman 1.5 update for Farming Simulator 22. Now before we dive into the actual operation of the oil mill, I wanted to show you the oil mill location because, well, a lot of care and detail has gone into putting this oil mill into the map. It's far more than just plopping down an oil mill and calling it a day. In fact, you could say an entire stream was built exclusively for the oil mill. Let's go ahead and follow this water chute up the river, creek, stream, whatever you want to call it. This was added with respect to the 1.5 update. Where are we on the map? Well, we have our hop field, which was added in a previous update. We have our cherry orchard. And then we have our chicken breeding facility. So we'll see that here on the PDA. We're over here on the eastern side of the map, south of field 50. Then we have our hop field. And then we have the origin point of this little creek that is driving the water wheel on the oil mill. So once again, we take this all the way down here. And we have some really nice animations that I want to also point out. Water gets collected into this chute and then falls over the wheel. And that is, of course, what powers the mill. Now let's turn the mill off. And we'll see how things change around back. Since we turn the mill off, we can hear the sound of the water stop. The water wheel is no longer running. Water is no longer running down the chute. So cool little animation there. Cool little change. Now let's talk about the actual oil mill facility. The oil mill facility is going to take oil seeds. So this is not like your normal oil mill for Farming Simulator 22. The oil seeds that the oil mill is going to accept is going to be canola, sunflower, olives, and soybeans. And those are going to be the oils that are then going to produce vegetable oil. Notice this is unpacked vegetable oil. We're going to have two output options. We can output our vegetable oil in IBC totes, or we can output our vegetable oil in bulk and use a trailer like the LSFM Universal Tank Trailer to then transport our unpackaged vegetable oil to the contract filler for packaging. The contract filler is going to accept red wine, grape juice, and now vegetable oil and apple juice. And it's going to take the unpacked vegetable oil and convert it into packaged vegetable oil. We can then go and sell our packaged vegetable oil at either the bakery, the beer parlor, supermarket, or village shop. As far as prices go, we are on easy mode. But overall, we're looking at price variations somewhere between $10,000 and $5,418 per thousand liters. There is no capability of selling the unpackaged vegetable oil. So we're going to produce the vegetable oil, and then we have to take it down and get it packaged in order to further profit from it. Let's turn our oil back on. Something else I wanted to show you is we had inputs for production. That is denoted by the red sign here on the building. And then we have a cell point located over here, noted by the green sign. So if we want to sell at the oil mill, we're going to come here. If we want to produce oil, well, we're going to bring it over here to this building. We also have a usable forklift for transportation and moving around of the IBC totes. Now, I wanted to demonstrate the various inputs. We're going to unload canola. The 
sunflowers. Olives. Or soybeans. That's pretty straightforward what happens if we have our IBC totes spawning here. Well, we'll get IBC totes and then we'll have to transport those to the contract filler. We could bring a trailer up alongside those totes and fill directly into a trailer as well. Or, as we have here, we have the trigger now moved over to our bulk filling. We can either use a regular trailer and just fill by opening the lid. Or in this case, I have this set up as being compatible with the hose system. I can hit Q to attach the hose, and now I can hit R to fill. We can switch which input or which output is active, I should say, by coming over here to this gentleman. And we can hit R in order to switch the outputs. And when we do so, the trigger will move from there over to there. Let's go ahead and hit that. So the trigger move. And we should see some totes spawn in here momentarily. And there we go. We have our totes now spawning in over here. Again, if you want to basically use the bulk trailer, we're going to have to come over here and switch our goods by hitting R. You can see the trigger move. And then once it's over here, now we can use our bulk trailer. Let me meet you down at the contract filler because we're going to have to unload our now vegetable oil into the contract filler to then make pallets of oil. But before we do that, I do want to also mention that the IBC totes are compatible with the Universal Auto Load Mod. In fact, I loaded those totes right there using the Universal Auto Load Mod and one of the base game Brantner trailers. We made our way over to our contract filler, which is over at the town that has the vehicle shop in it. We're going to position our trailer to then attach our hose and we're going to unload into the contract filler. We can come over here, we can now manage and we can activate our oil filling. And we already have some pallets of packaged oil here. Again, we're going to be able to sell the packaged oil at these locations. Bakery, beer parlor, supermarket, and village shop. So guys, that is pretty much everything you need to know with respect to the vegetable oil and the new oil mill that is here on Hoff Bergman version 1.5. If you've missed any other of my Hoff Bergman Explained videos, you go and check out the playlist that is going to be linked in the description below as well as one of the video cards that you can go and click on and then go and check out i believe we're up to maybe episode 47 with this particular video and we have a few more that we're going to be dropping later this week if you are watching this video soon after its initial release and until next time happy farming